the difference between being skeptical about something and being in denial is very subtle but very important, right? Someone who is skeptical is willing to test their own hypothesis, their own assumptions. They are actually looking for the truth, even if it turns out that they were wrong. Recently, we carried out an experiment to test the rotation to the Earth. If the Earth is spinning at one rotation every 24 hours, that means that every hour it has to turn 15 degrees. And if the gyroscope is mounted anywhere on Earth, it's going to drift. In today's 21st century navigation systems, they're using what's called a ring laser gyroscope. It is extremely precise. If we could simply get one of these ring laser gyroscopes, we would be able to prove once and for all that there is no rotation to the Earth. One of the people in the community actually purchased one for $20,000. You start at point A, and then you do some kind of process of collecting evidence, of thinking, or whatever you want, and you end up at a conclusion, point B, that you believe is true, okay? Science is the arrow. That's all science is, is the arrow. Science is a process to get to conclusions. But what we found is, is when we turned on that gyroscope, we found that we were picking up a drift a 15 degree per hour drift. Now, <laughs> obviously we were taken aback by that. Wow, that's kind of a, a problem, <laughs> right? But there's a whole other way to think, which is that you start at B, you start at the conclusion, and you say, I have to find evidence that shows that this is true. You're not looking for data to try to prove you wrong or refine your position, right? You're trying to look for all the data that proves you right. You'll cherry pick until you find evidence that appears to be an arrow, a logical arrow to your dogma. We obviously were not willing to accept that, and so we started looking for ways to disprove that it was actually registering the motion of the Earth and that it in fact was registering the motion of the sky. 